So let's talk about what we did yesterday. So we learned how to do the proportion, right? We were doing the proportion. And we found that the z is equal to what? The p hat, p hat minus, minus, minus p, p over the square root of, of p, p minus q. q. P q times q. P q divided by n. P q divided by n. So this is the z, right? And this gives us what? That gives you the z value. Why am I, why am I, what is the point in calculating this? To find the p value. To find the p value, right? Because the end result is what you want. You want to get the p value. That's what you're trying to get, right? And why are you getting this? So you can decide whether to reject it. So Natalie, how when would I reject it? So I would find the p-value through this, right? And then I'm going to compare this with the alpha. And what do I want? I want alpha to be less than five. Less than point five. Point zero five. You want alpha to be greater than the p. You want the p-value to be small, right? Less than the alpha, correct? This is what you're trying to find, right? Because because this allows you. To do what? Reject. Reject. Reject, Reject the, the hoe, hoe, right? Okay, so this is what you're trying to do, right? Okay. Yes. So, we're not going to learn anything new today, but we are going to learn a new method of doing this. Okay. So your homework today is going to be 18 through 25. So let's do 18 together. Let's do 18 together. In 18, we have. What is it? It's a, I don't know what it is. I think it's a chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my drawing. I got bored English. Read the question for us, Daniel. What do I do instead of learning? Not that we learn much. Yeah, I was going to say, what are we doing? Daniel? Come on, Daniel. Hey, don't, don't, don't hit the, don't hit the thing, man. I think someone else other than Daniel should read. Read. <laughs> when Landau conducted his famous dramatic experiments with P, one sample of Austria consisted of 428 green peas, 100 and 150 yellow peas. Use a 0.01 significance level to test Landau's claim that under the same circumstances, 25% of Austrian peas will be yellow. What can we conclude about Landau's claim? Okay. So. Now let's find, what do I know? What, are, what, have I told, what have they told us here? 428 green peas and 152 yellow peas. So we have 428 green and then 152 yellow. So green and yellow, right? right. So what, he, what do we need to know? And what are we trying to test? 25% of the peas will be yellow. That's what we're trying to test, right? 25 so 25% will be yellow. So my ho and ha are what? Ho is p equals p is equal to 0 0.25. 0 0.25, correct. What's my ha? P is p is, p is not, not equal, equal to 0.25, right? It doesn't tell us whether it's more or less, right? Yeah. Because there's, there's no differentiation there, right? Okay. And the alpha level is? 0.01. 0 0.01. Okay. What else do we know? So this is my what? When I add these two, these are my N. Correct? Yeah. What's my P hat? 152 divided by 152 divided by 428 plus... 152. Correct? Okay. All right. And what was this? 0. 0.26. 0.26, is it? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, 0.26? Okay, pretty good. Okay, so this is how we would do it, right? So normally we would go and so, okay, my z is equal to p hat minus p square root of point two what? Five point seven five, right? Because Q is one minus P. Yeah. Divided by N, which is five eighty. 
five eighty, right? We would do this and find this number, blah, blah, blah. And then go find the uh, p-value, compare with the alpha. So let's do this, the method. The new method we're going to do today involves your calculator. Let's bring out the calculator. Go. Yes. So this is 580, right? 580, yeah. What do you hey, think? Mr. Oscar, people are it, it just looks a bit odd. It just looks a bit uh, misshaped. So, go to your math prob math, math test. test. You want math prob, math. you go to test, and you're looking for one prop Z test. I have literally no clue what you're saying right now. No, I don't that? have that. If we go to math, uh, no, 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 no. Is this a prop? <laughs> Why does he always like, put his art fault? Uh, <laughs> no. Stat. Go to stat. <laughs> stat, stat test. test. Oh. oh, it's one prop. One prop right, test. One prop test. test. I thought you were saying prop. One prop test. It's not prob, a prop. Is it one prop what? Z test? One prop Z test. Okay. One prop Z test. <laughs> what does it ask you for? P O. P naught is. This is your P naught. X. X. And your high is going. Does it ask for your high? It says, it says for X. Probability does not equal. Not equal to. You want the not equal to one. You want the not equal to one. Uh, yeah. Wait, for X, it's just the. Yeah, so it's the very first one. Okay. Like the, the X is nice. X is. Wait, what? What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. oh okay, 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 okay. Forget the blue, don't worry about the blue. Yeah, yeah, and then what do you put in X? Crop. Is that oh, okay. Point? Oh, your X is going to be what? Your X is going to be one. this, 152. Okay. Oh, because that's what you mean. What's N? N is five your eight. 580. Yeah. And then calculate. And then calculate. Or draw. Just calculate. Okay. Wait, what's that? Here's what I got. Wait, what's Z that? Z equals 0.67. Yeah, so this is, this is it. So what's your, what's your p-value? What does your p-value say? What? 0. 0.502. 0. 0.502, right? That's correct. 0. 0.502. So you found your p-value, so it's not going to actually conclude for you, but it gives you the p-value, because that's what you're trying to find, right? When you were using this, right? So it's doing all this for you. Okay? And the p-value is 0 0.502. Therefore, we conclude what? My p-value is greater, or less than, or greater than alpha. Because p is greater than the alpha value, correct? Because the p-value was 0.5. Alpha was 0 0.01, right? Alpha here was 0 0.01. Okay, so we're like way above that, right? Which means that we failed to reject, and therefore we do not have significant evidence that what? We do not have significant evidence for the ha, right? That the probability of the yellow peas are not equal to 0.25. You see the correct conclusion, correct conclusion there? Okay. Do you see how the calculator is a lot easier than you doing all this and trying to find all the other stuff? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I did the first one for you. Now I'll let you do the rest.